What do you think about Sean O'Malley with like his his thing going, getting so famous so fast, and then going out there and then having the situation that happened? I think he's talented, man. The kid's smooth. He's you definitely know, talented. I, maybe if uh, that would have been a great fight had he got his leg hurt, but that was a legitimate kick that messed up his leg, in right. my opinion. And then to, you know, I just don't like the dancing videos after. I think that's kind of <laughs> like where you lost me a little bit, you know, because now yeah. you're just not really making sense to me. But prior to that, you know. Yeah, you say all the shit you got to do. It's bold to you know talk some shit and then go out there and try to back it up. And he's been able to back it up a lot, but it's tough when you're not fighting. You know, maybe the best guys in the world, and you're saying it. So it's like you kind of seem, you know, you, at best you might come off as a bully, this that, you know. But as long as you back it up, you can pretty much say or do anything you want, um, you know, in the UFC. And I think it's, uh, it, it's like they prefer it that way, you know. Yeah. But. Uh, at the end of the day, it all comes down to getting your hand raised. And, and I do try to keep that Bill Belichick, Patriots mindset. You know, yeah. on to the next fight, head down. Don't give these guys the locker room uh, material. And um, But at the same time, I got a lot of, you know, I got a little Boston in me too. And, yeah. and, and sometimes <laughs> it comes out. And, uh, yeah, it, it, it's it's fun, man. These guys, I think they talk a little too much. But um, hopefully they're getting into half as much training as they are doing talking. You know, there is something to what you just said, though, because I talked to Cheeto about it. I had Cheeto Vera on the show, and then I had Henry Cejudo on. And, you know, Cheeto obviously landed that kick and, and caused instability in, in Sean's leg uh, multiple times before the ankle roll. So it wasn't like he just rolled his ankle. Um, and then I saw a breakdown. I, I mentioned in my last two podcasts, um, Stanley MMA did a breakdown on YouTube, and it had, like, Henry Cejudo on there where he got kicked in the same spot from Demetrius uh, Johnson. Yes. And so I had Henry on the show and I asked him and he thinks that's the move that's going to kind of change the sport because getting kicked behind the knee on the calf in that exact spot, he said that it did the same thing to him. It caused instability and he couldn't put his foot down and he ultimately rolled his ankle too. And he didn't stop and he continued on obviously, but, uh, there's something there. I mean, that, there, there's there's a kick there that like uh, is below that knee behind the calf that that definitely causes some yep. damage and, and instability in the ankle. And I think that's going to be something that a lot of fighters are going to take note of now. Definitely, it's that's uh, the the lower like calf style kicks too are, are really tough to kind of check. But um, you know, there's other you could there's a there's a ways to deal with everything. It's just. You know, try not to be there to get kicked in the first yeah, place. That's, that's easier a, said than done. But that's a good I felt plan. like with the Jeremy fight, like I, I, you know, I checked, I checked like all the kicks, uh, all of Jeremy's kicks almost. You know, but I felt like maybe yeah, I he was checked too them. many. You know, not that it was out of too much, but you can also check too many. You try not to be there at least a little bit. But um, you know, yeah, dealing with kicks, they all kind of threw that at me. Oh, it's just a boxer after that, you know, Burgos fight, and then you know, Moicano with the kicks, but. Um, from what I see, uh, these guys moving a lot, and then they're relying on trying to pick at me with the kicks because they don't really want a part of it with the hands, and and they're trying to kind of, you know, squeak out Ws, which it's all fair game, man. You know, I'm not. Yeah, it is what it is. You, you, you want a good, you know, but you see the way I'm losing, and you see the way I'm winning, you know, and uh, eventually, I think in the long run, once I tighten up with all these little holes, which I feel like I've done a, a good job at putting in the work and. Um, you know, addressing the things that even off wins, you know, addressing things that we could be doing better. And I think eventually it's going to uh, all catch up these guys, man. That's why we work so hard. But um, yeah, that was a, that, the, the whole mindset, man. Like I, I like those guys. He, he, he's uh, he's an exciting guy to watch. And yeah, it is fun to hear him, you know, shit talk every now and then. But um, when, when it doesn't go your way, yeah. you got to be a little, you know, humble in defeat yeah. and defeat and maybe give a guy his due the stat. But who knows, man, that, that's for them to figure out. Podcast.